Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 2 Times Square Off Free Play for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. We got a suggested character list down below. Most of them are uh, unlocked via the story. Might have to buy a couple of them along the way. But uh, with True Believer, is 170,000 studs. And we also got all 10 mini kits and the Stan Lee in peril. So jump on in. We're going to select the uh, Times Square Off, which is the Fantastic Four icon on your map. And once you find that, go ahead and select Free Play. Select a character for your toggle. And we'll go ahead and load up in this bad boy. This has been sped up. We have removed most, if not all, of the cutscenes. And uh, we do have fast forward timeline quick links down below. If you want to just go ahead and skip ahead towards the mini kits or whatever the case may be. Uh, maybe you're missing the stand in peril. Go ahead and look down below and there should be a timeline link right to the stand in peril. So you don't have to wait for me talking and blabbing. You can go right to it. So. True believer. 170k was pretty easy. Right off the bat, we used Magneto as we got our true believer status to go ahead and pull the blue icon on the wall there off and reveal the mini kit for us. So already just like that, one in the bag. Moving along, moving along. Moving up top, we get uh, uh, attacked by some uh, Octobots. And right behind the Octobots is a silver door off to the far right-hand side. We're going to take old Iron Man and uh, go ahead and destroy the silver, which reveals a charge panel. Then use Storm or Thor to go ahead and uh, use the powers of Skull and charge that bad boy up. Once you get the power all filled up, Go ahead and walk in there. For those of you who don't know what the powers of Grace go, it's an old He-Man reference. Uh, most of you should know what that is. If not, then you know what? You're probably on the younger side of things, and that's okay. All right, so we need Captain America to go ahead and throw a shield up top, but we also need Mr. Fantastic down below. To be completely honest with you, I think you can just fly over to the other side and, and just move along. I usually do most of the story requirements to get through this just so... Uh, if people have not beat the story mode and are just watching this to figure out at all, uh, they're not totally in the dark. But we do have a story mode walkthrough video for anybody who's looking for specifics. Uh, things are slowed down a little bit, and uh, we talk everything that is how to beat the level and nothing that is collectibles and extra stuff. So, Oh yeah, here we are with this shield and the fire thing again. I still think this is weird. Uh, you show me somebody who can take a shield and and hold it down in front of them and walk over flames. And I don't know. You stamped it out, maybe? But I, maybe that's what he's doing. I don't know. I'll quit disputing the whole uh, whatchamahoosit. All right, so this might be a good time to exercise your right to use one of the quick link buttons down below. There is a certain amount of story mode, story play stuff I have to do in order to get through this wall and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably looking at two minutes till the next mini kit. Maybe less. But uh, right around there. So yeah, use the grapple o over uh, on the doorway there, which will then allow you access to smack around with your shield. And oh, Iron Man is needed now. Go ahead and switch on over to the Iron Man of your preference. Mine always happens to be the Mark 42. And uh, yeah, go ahead and flip the switch. It'll move this little screwdriver on a train track on over you can screw up that door huh <laughs> and uh or maybe you can just screw with it yeah and i don't know what happened look at my ai in the back over there he's just like he's transformed into the juggernaut which i don't even have it is a uh it's a custom character at this point for me and yeah anyways yeah, buddy, so Mr. America can build up the other panel here for Mr. Fantastic, but who knows? Who knows what we need that for? Realistically, we need to reflect this beam back and charge those two panels, and then we can kind of move on to the next area. I like the sounds that it makes. It's cool. Okay, so it's opened on up. Go ahead and hop on if you have a choice. I think it automatically sucks you on. Tractor beam. As soon as we get control here, we're going to go ahead and switch to Wolverine. Why?
why, you ask? Well, Wolverine has the claws that we need to get our dig on. Gonna do some deep dirt digging here with these claws. Can't imagine they're good for digging. Think about that. It, it's like trying to dig a hole with like a pitchfork. I mean, come on, you can break the ground up and you might be able to get a chunk or two, but can't. All right, so over here, there is a pile of rocks. You can use your uh, ability as much as you want, but you have to destroy the rocks first, and then it'll present the little climbing icon. And then we're actually going to need either the Silver Surfer or Galactus to go ahead and uh, build these bricks here. I'm bouncing around going, what can't I build them? But I'm an idiot, that's why. So we have Galactus. We have not found Super or Silver Surfer as of this point because uh, we just haven't. So Galactus comes after beating the level. You should have him. You might have to purchase him. But we gave you the warning in the beginning. All right, so three mini kits now in the bag. That's nice. We'll go ahead, and now we're going to kind of cheat. We're just going to take a flying character of your choice. We chose Iron Man. And we're going to destroy five flower planters. Uh, we're actually not destroying them. We, Well, maybe we are. We're shooting rockets at them, and basically what happens is they close, and the flowers do whatever they do, and we get credit for it. So we're going to fly all the way through the level, and we're lucky that we can just kind of breeze through all this and make it on over into the final area up toppy toppy. And there it is up on the very last little segment there. Booyaka shao. There's four. Boom. Here comes five over here in the corner. As soon as you get all five of them, you will uh, get a mini kit right where the fifth one was. So, you know, depending on which order you got them, the mini kit may be in a different spot. And, you know, you can use whichever flying character you like, or you can just work your way through the level and get it as you get there. So, we're going to head for this silver grate now, right behind Dr. Octopus, who is uh, kind of in the second stage of the stage. But he, we get sucked in, as you saw. Like, I'm way behind him. He's looking the other way. But for some reason, we get, like, auto-sucked into his reach. And so we'll switch characters and move over with Galactus. Or any other flying character, for that matter. And now you got to switch to Venom. So there's a little uh, sludge pit here. We'll go ahead and sneak on through it. And it drops us into this greenhouse. Once you destroy and are happy with everything in there, go ahead and slide back through the slurp again. I know that uh, a couple of you have your own terms for it. Uh, what is it? Uh, oh, I can't remember now. But anyways, it's been called slurp. We call it sludge. Schmegma. All sorts of things work. You get the point. Only, I think Venom is one of, one of if not the only character who can slide through that. I could be wrong on that. There may be more. We obviously don't have all of the characters. We have 35, maybe, of the 150-plus characters. And uh, yeah, we finally got our DLC code to work from our pre-order, so we'll do a quick little spotlight on the uh, characters for that. Might even have Doug do it, since he knows a little bit more about the Marvel Universe than I do. Isn't that sad? Like, I know about... Uh, couple of characters way more than he does he hadn't even heard of some of them well uh, well the same would apply the other way too it was sad how much more Doug knew and he's like 10 years well 12 years younger than me it's pretty crazy yeah I'm an old fart anyways all right moving along moving on people moving on make your way all the way up you do have to deal with uh, dr. octopus who's over on the billboard the bugle billboard it cues a uh, little cutscene we move through but uh, and yeah here's one of those moments too. feel free to use one of the quick links down below or you can hang out whichever whichever you prefer but uh, we're gonna definitely uh, do some wrecking ballage here in a minute or as we say in the current times Miley Cyrus uh -huh. all right so we've destroyed knocked him down we now can use the grapple pull this whole sign down and because we're in free play we don't have to do a lot of extra stuff like use Mr. Fantastic to get up there and blah 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 but we do have to use Mr. Fantastic right here to destroy the billboard so look at that I eat my own words what? here comes the big old no! Miley Cyrus boom alright we skipped a little cutscene and we're moving on now 
getting ready to get the next item, which happens to be Stanley. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Iron Man to fly up top to that silver water tower so we can freely, freely, freely. I'm, I'm fist pumping while I do that. I know you can't see me, but I am. And uh, so we'll go ahead and keep on destroying everything. Once you destroy it all, you actually build up this water pipe with a little handle on it that needs telekinesis. So we'll switch on over to Jean Grey again. Do what I say now. Oh, look at that. We freed Lee, freed Lee. Yay. All right. And I know there's going to be one or two of you that uh, does not find my chanting or commentary that entertaining and you know feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you didn't like about it but uh, you know the simplest solution is rather than uh, make some negative comment you can just mute me and lucky for you all of the information is documented and uh, down below in the quick links or you know in the video so you don't even have to listen to me oh, yeah. all right off the left hand side I'm getting behind myself there is a little uh, barbecue and next to it there's a gold object use the heat ray to destroy it and then either slip in there with the human torch or use Iceman or somebody else to put out the fire. You could probably even use Captain America and his janky shield to slide in there. And that will go ahead and yield you the mini kit. And then immediately after, there's a bunch of stuff here in the grassy knoll. Go ahead and build it up and jump on it, and it'll provide the Fantastic Four panel, which you can hop on with Mr. Fantastic and mow that yard. That is the worst mow job ever. Yes, I said Mojob. Easy there. That's mini kit number seven. Hopefully that little boy didn't get a tip. That's the worst Mojob ever. All right, and now we've just got a couple story mode things before we get to the next item here. So we have a little identity crisis back here with Venom. Or maybe a little steroid usage. Actually, you know what? I had heard that Venom had gotten P90X in the mail. Maybe that's what's going down. Maybe he's getting his workout on. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, this one's one of the most uh, ridiculous ones ever. Like, what kind of a flight path is that? The one that suits the <laughs> screen movement the least, I guess, huh? There's been some issues lately with screen movement and uh, people getting nauseous and stuff, I guess. There's been lots of reviews and reports of games getting too crazy, so maybe that's what they were doing. Minimizing screen movement. All right, so there's some studs when you make your way down there. Uh, we're well beyond the True Believer status at this point, and uh, you probably are as well, depending on if you've got the multipliers or not. And look at that. We got 8 million, and we needed 170,000, so, you know, yeah, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, we're going to make our way through. We do skip a little bit of a cutscene there, and now we're getting ready, and here it's going to be a mini kit crazy for a second, and then we take out Dr. Octopus, well, hopefully for the last time. I don't know if we run into him in any of the later hub missions, but uh, we've already beat the story mode, and this would be the free play, so this might be the last time. And when you get into this area, there are five fire hydrants that have a gold cap on it. Don't be confused with this giant gorilla I'm trying to melt over here. I guess it's not a gorilla. It looks like the thing, the Hulk. My preview window's small. Leave me alone. That's not what she said. All right, now on the far right is number two of the hydrants. And we've got three in the, kind of in the middle here. And then four is in the back right corner. And then you might have already seen five. It's actually back in the back left corner. So make our way on over there. There she blows, there she blows. Well, you can shout. Once you get all five, you will know because it'll tell you and you'll get a mini kit. If you're following along, that's eight now that we have successfully obtained in this quick run here. We got the Hulk we need to pull out, or the thing, somebody strong. Somebody that ate their Wheaties this morning. And I don't know why I'm having issues with the button here, but uh, it's definitely not giving me the prompt to push the button. And I'm spamming circles, so I'm making it clap instead. Eventually I get it. Here we go. Just rip it on open, and mini kit slides on out and becomes yours. All right, and then as far as the collectibles go, last but not least, there is a silver car in the back right side over in this area. Make sure you do all of this before defeating Dr. Octopus. I might have missed the boat on that. I probably should have said that a little sooner. You guys are smart enough to figure that out, though, I think. Once you kill him, that ends the session here. But there's a silver car. Use 
Iron Man or somebody to go ahead and destroy that. And it provides a big crack, which you can destroy this multiple ways. Well, we choose the Hulk. Hulk smash. Oh, yeah. Mini kit number 10. That's going to do it for collectibles, people. So if you're here for the collectibleage, you are good. You're welcome and have uh, earned your certificate to move on to free play level 3. If you want to hang out, we're going to go ahead and finish the level as always. There's still that rumor floating around that we have not confirmed one way or the other that you can save and quit and leave the game without actually completing it. But uh, just to be safe, we're going to go ahead and go through and complete the level. Now, if you have successfully completed all of the free plays, or let's say maybe you've 100% of the game, uh, drop us a little note let us know. At this point in this recording, which is uh, shortly after the game's release, we have not completed it. In fact, we're only like 33%. So we're like just over a third or over, just at the third mark. 33.33, actually. Ironically, it's literally where uh, I'm at right coming. now. Looking Another at the save screen on my PlayStation, which is behind my laptop. So, all right, we're just basically taking out Dr. Octopus here. If you are wondering why I'm just blabbing about randomness, I keep dying like a noob too and falling in the hole. What happens is Dr. Octopus walks around his legs and smashes you they get stuck you smash him so on and so forth and look at that Times square level free play complete got lots of studage way more than we needed for this level in fact and um, we're gonna go ahead and celebrate with the true believer we uh, if you haven't gotten the brick already for it you will get a gold brick for that we got it uh, the first time around here we are with the 10th mini kit, which yields us another comic. And we'll take those comics and go read and put them to you. And we freed Lee, freed Lee, freed Lee. So that got us, uh, well, look at that. We didn't have the True Believer originally, so that was a good one for us. We got a couple of gold bricks. Stack them up, stack them up. Oh, to the yeah, that's going to wrap up Lego Marvel Super Heroes Level 2 Times Square off free play. Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing over here. Uh, there's a link to the artist who did our Lego Thumbie down there as well. And uh, we're reaching for as many people as possible on Facebook. So get over there. Join the fun. We have contests and all sorts of stuff. That's where the, that's where the real fun happens. All the help happens here on YouTube. But all the real fun happens on Facebook. All right. You guys know the drill. As always, until next time. See ya.